Hey everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and it's time for episode 64 of my question and answer series. So, last week I did not put out an episode, I just forgot. Um, it wasn't until I was about to sleep that I just all of a sudden remembered that I forgot about the Q&A episode. So, here it is. Let's go to the bottom with Matthew McLeod. What do you think about the rumored 5S? Well, I'm going to answer this as if it was prior to yesterday because everybody knows that these devices were announced yesterday. Uh, funny fact, he actually got the capitalization of the 5S correct, because Apple has actually lowercase letters now instead of capital letters, which is slightly confusing. So, given all the rumors and stuff, and it's a typical S upgrade, so you can't expect too much. I'm just expecting camera improvements and processor performance. That's pretty much it. The design is probably going to stay the same, so there's nothing to really... Uh, be excited about if you already have an iPhone 5. Next up from Corolos iHelp 101, check out my website, whatever that is, Corolos iHelp 101.webs.com, which is right here. It's a pretty standard webs.com website. I, there just aren't very many good things to say about these types of websites, so I'll just move on. Uh, oh, and my YouTube channel. So here is the YouTube channel. You don't post very many videos, so that's really where. I would start improving, uh, you know, pumping out videos on a regular basis. You also forgot the E here as well. Not sure if it's spelled differently in certain languages or not, but anyway, moving on. What is your take on the rumored iPhone 5C? So I'll answer this one as if it was prior to yesterday as well. I think the 5C is going to be pretty interesting because they're going to a different back material similar to what they had on the iPhone 3G which I liked. That was my first iPhone, and it was a uh, pretty nice design. So it's nice to see that they are adding colors as well. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit lower cost as well, so it'll be interesting to see the specs that it will have. Probably something similar to, we, to uh, what we have in the iPhone 5 already. Next up, from Sid Harthner, what do you think what the next iPhone 5S will have? Um, they, both, they both got the lowercase letter right, which is slightly interesting, but I already answered this, so I'm just going to skip on. From Drew Pickens, long time no talk, lol, how have you been? I've been fantastic. From Mark Jeff 222 do you still have your iPad 1 and iPad 2 with you, or have you sold them already? I sold the iPad 1 last year. The iPad 2 is still around. I don't use it at all, really, so that's that. Okay, so from FRX KRO2, are you getting the iPhone 5S or iPhone 5C? Well, here is the 5S. I am not going to be getting it because I have an iPhone 5 and there's just not a single thing in the 5S that makes me want to spend the time and money to sell my iPhone 5 and get the 5S. But the phone itself is just fine. I like how it has dual flashes now. It makes better looking images when you're using the flash. Um, the whole fingerprint thing still seems like a gimmick to me. We'll have to see how developers plan on using this. Um, I just don't really have too much to say about it. I'd like to check out the case. There are leather cases that they have for $39. I'll have to check that out next Friday when this phone is released. But, I mean, I just don't really have too many things to say about it. It's a fine phone. It's just that I already have an iPhone 5, so the iPhone 5S is completely boring and not even remotely interesting to me. The 5C, on the other hand, is a little bit better, or a little more interesting, because it's new. We have a new design, it's using different materials, it's a little thicker for once. Um, I like the white one, because when it comes to cases and devices, I like having neutral colors, because for me, it's kind of hard to pick colors for cases and wallpapers, so I think that white phones or black phones are a little more easier to choose. This case, though, is completely stupid. It's $30, and you have a holes in the back of it. That's like buying jeans with ripped areas in them already. That's it just doesn't really make sense to me. The phone itself is just fine. It has mostly iPhone 5 specs. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than the 5C for Mark Jeff uh, 222. iPhone 5 with iOS 7 GM or iPhone 5 with 6.1.4 undeather jailbreak whenever they release it. So you can get a clean restore and jailbreak it. Well, I went to the GM yesterday. Clean Restore started completely from scratch. I really like it. I've liked iOS 7 since beta 1. The GM is just fantastic. I think a lot of people are going to like it. If they can look past 
the somewhat questionable icons, it's really not that bad of an upgrade. When it comes to jailbreaking though, I've been without a jailbreak for over three months and honestly, I don't miss it at all. Uh, iOS 7 has a lot of nice improvements, it has a, a lot of nice visual tweaks and new features and things, so I really don't miss my jailbreak too much. If I were to jailbreak, the only thing I would get is a quick reply feature. If they do release the untethered jailbreak, I'm s I don't know. Actually, I, even if they did release the jailbreak, I still wouldn't go to it. It's just not worth it for one more feature to get. Last question from Sid Harthner. Do you repent? I guess he's referring to, do you plan on buying the iPhone 5? Okay, I'm confused now. Do you plan on buying the iPhone 5 now that the iPhone 5S is released with a good amount of upgrades? Well, I already have the iPhone 5, so like I said earlier, I'm not going to get the 5S. This is a little bit confusing. He's making it sound like I don't already have an iPhone 5. I'm slightly confused, but like I said, the iPhone 5S to an iPhone 5 owner just doesn't seem like that big of an upgrade at all. So that's it with this video. Next week will be episode 65, so stay tuned for that. But that's it with this video. If you have any questions that you would like me to try and answer, go ahead and leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all next week, probably.